So today, as I said, we're gonna be talking about recovery techniques and what you can do to maximize your performance on your off days. All right, number one thing you wanna do, you wanna make sure you're staying hydrated all day, every day. Your body's made up of so much water that to not have it in your system, you're just not gonna be on point. So to make sure you're recovering the best you can, make sure you're hydrated. Another thing a lot of people neglect is sleeping the right times. Um, optimally, you want to have about eight hours of sleep. Um, I usually go to bed around 9.30, wake up around 6 a.m. You know, a lot of uh, fitness people think that, you know, if you're not waking up early in the morning, working out, and then working out at night, and then going to bed late, then you're not doing it right. The, the secret is you want to sleep because that's when your body can rest and all your muscles can grow. Because when you're working out, you're tearing your muscles apart, and when you're sleeping, they're growing back. So to fuel this recovery, you want to make sure you are eating right. Now, your muscles are made up of like proteins, you could say. So when you're working out, you're tearing them apart. So to rebuild them, you want to put more protein in. That's why a lot of people take protein uh, supplements and amino acids, because that's helping rebuild your muscles that you previously torn. And when they grow, they're going to grow back bigger and stronger. Here's another supplement I use by Optimum Nutrition. It's called Serious Mass. If you can see here, the calories has got two, uh, 1,250. For fat, it's got about five grams. The protein, 50 grams. And carbohydrates, 252 grams. So this stuff pretty much really helps your muscles get the nutrients they need in a pretty small meal. So it's not like taking a full meal where you'd get those regular nutrition, but instead you can just mix this in with a shake. Tastes pretty good. It is kind of thick versus like protein powder, but it really does help. A lot of times after I'm done with a pretty good lifting session, I'm feeling tight. So you always wanna make sure you stretch. I usually stretch a little bit before and do the majority of the stretching after the workout, and along with taking a nice shower which will help loosen up your muscles and allow new blood and nutrients to go. Usually in my routine, I like to make sure my muscles are warm when I'm stretching. So that means um, I'm stretching immediately after I'm working out, or if I let them kind of uh, settle or something, then I'll make sure to take a shower before I stretch to make sure they're loosened up and ready to be stretched to the maximum capacity. Another thing I like to do is uh, I take what I call conditioning, conditional showers. So that means I go two minutes with cold water, two minutes with hot water, two minutes with cold water, two minutes with hot water, and usually can do that kind of cycle for about two to three times. And what that helps is really flush out all the stale water in your system, uh, not water, blood in your system and allow new blood to be brought into your muscles and recover faster. Cold showers not only help with um, muscle refreshing, but after you take them, you usually feel pretty good and awake. So they're a good thing to do and take in the morning too. Lastly, before you go to bed, you're gonna wanna make sure you're ready to sleep so you're not just wasting time in bed. So usually about half an hour before I go to bed, I turn off my phone and either you'll wanna do some light meditation, some box breathing, or some people might like to read. I don't recommend it because it does have your brain um, more activated, but you wanna be nice and relaxed before you go to bed to make sure you have the highest quality sleep you can. To make sure your muscles are getting the most nutrients you can, you're gonna make sure you wanna have the right amount of carbs, fats, proteins, and calories in your diet so that when you do tear your muscles down in a workout, you can refuel them the right way. So you can go on to bodybuilding.com and they have some pretty nice uh, calculators for nutrition and lifting that if you plug in your information and your goals, they'll tell you the right amount of whatever you're looking for to maximize your training capacity. So when you hydrate, usually you, most people will just take water, but I like to mix in this uh, BCA 5000 and what this is is it's aimed to help support protein synthesis muscle repair endurance boost recovery and strength 
what I've noticed is I usually take one scoop of this, I put it into a gallon and drink that throughout the day. And I actually have realized, I'm not sponsored, so this isn't gonna be any kind of BS. Um, I feel better throughout the day. I don't get like headaches or anything. And I feel revitalized, like I have energy, like I'm not kind of groggy by the end of the day. So when I get to my workout, I'm ready to go. And that's even before I take my pre-workout. It doesn't really have to do with um, recovery as much as just pure supplementation. But you're gonna want to get some creatine. This is micronized creatine powder by Optimum Nutrition. I usually take the recommended five grams um, daily. I usually mix it into some kind of fruit juice. So either uh, orange juice or I'll put it in some lemonade because it doesn't really dissolve. So you kind of just have to drink it fast. But this has definitely helped. It helps with water, water retention, which helps your uh, endurance because you have more water at the ready inside your muscles for when you go to use them. And it also helps with if you're looking to put some muscle on and uh, size, say, uh, there's more water in your muscles so they appear bigger, which I'm not aimed for that, but I know a lot of people do like using it for that reason. And also I've noticed the, not this cycle, cause I just started it two days ago, but the first time I took this stuff, I did notice a pretty good sized increase in strength, which I'm guessing is it helped optimize my training which in, ter in terms led to a uh, heavier weight lifted. So these are some of the tools I use to roll. Here's one foam roller, really good for your uh, quads and back. Here's another one, really helps you uh, pinpoint. You can just roll it right down your quads or uh, any other spot that feels tight. Also, I like to use this stuff. It's uh, kind of like a revitalizing thing. It, it, uh, it just makes you feel fresh, kind of. All right, so now that we've got all the recovery talk out of the way, which is probably not everyone's favorite because, you know, this is a fitness channel, not a rest and relaxation channel, we can talk about some of the things that I like to use to help um, increase my training abilities that aren't so, um, well, you could say natural. So first thing I like to use, this is a slingshot by Mark Bell and uh, pretty much what it is is you put it on your arms like this and it's used for bench press all right so when you come down it has an elastic force which pushes back out against your arms so uh, for instance first day I got this now I can usually bench 225 for two to three reps on a good day first day I got this Threw it right on, went right over to my bench press, banged out 10 reps like it was nothing. Now you might say, well, isn't that just cheating? But what it is, is it's helping overload your muscles so that you can get used to heavier weights in your hands without quite having the ability to lift them yet. It's kind of like when you go with a, a rack pull on the uh, cage for deadlifts because you can lift more than you probably can deadlift because it's just that top lockout or kind of like a pin squat or a pin press for overhead press. All right, so all in all, today's video, kind of short, didn't really have much to show you guys, kind of went over some of the ways that I like to recover and what I do to help maximize my training abilities um, when I'm not able to lift because of uh, scheduling and just body, your body can't handle lifting every single day. So uh, that's how you can help optimize your training by resting and letting your body recover so you can come back the next day, tomorrow, Thursday, bench day, and be ready to train and bang out those sets like nothing. So I hope you guys all enjoyed the video, and as always, grind on stop, no pain, no gain, shut up and train, and recover in this case. <laughs>